In 75 years, Shanghai has never seen anything like this. Typhoon Babinka, a storm so powerful that it brought one of the largest cities in the world to a complete standstill. With winds reaching up to 42 meters per second, this is the strongest typhoon to hit Shanghai since 1949. <laughs> Welcome to this urgent weather update, where we'll take a deep dive into the destruction, chaos, and measures that have unfolded across Shanghai due to this devastating storm. On Monday morning, Typhoon Bibinka made landfall in Shanghai's Pudong district, specifically in the Lingang area. With its winds roaring at a staggering 42 meters per second, equivalent to around 150 kilometers per hour, the storm left a city of 25 million people bracing for impact. This is the 13th typhoon to hit China this year, but its strength and intensity make it unlike anything the city has seen in nearly a century. <laughs> The Shanghai Central Meteorological Observatory issued the highest level warnings as Bibinka churned its way ashore, creating waves of fear in the hearts of residents. The storm's ferocity was clear from the very beginning. Within hours of its landfall, large areas of the city were flooded, businesses shuttered, and essential services crippled. By Sunday evening, over 414,000 residents had already been evacuated to safer areas, and every major highway leading into and out of the city was shut down in anticipation of the storm. The megacity's famous transportation network, one of the busiest in the world, came to a grinding halt as all flights out of Shanghai's two major airports, Pudong and Hongqiao, were canceled starting at 8 p.m. on Sunday. Airports were transformed into makeshift rest areas, with operators scrambling to provide services to stranded passengers. As the storm hit, ferry operations were suspended and bus services came to a stop in the coastal Fengxian district all in an attempt to keep residents safe from Babinka's rage. With over 25 million people in danger, the city's authorities did not take any chances. Thousands of relief and rescue workers were mobilized, stationed across Shanghai to attend to emergencies caused by heavy rainfall, powerful winds, and flooding. The state flood control and drought relief headquarters took action as well, activating a level 4 emergency response for the surrounding Anhui province, while raising the emergency response in Shanghai and Zhejiang province to level 3. The government's response wasn't limited to just local regions. The country's top leadership ensured that every possible resource was being put towards saving lives and minimizing damage. However, even with these efforts, Shanghai's normally vibrant streets were left empty and submerged under torrents of rain. The typhoon's impact on daily life was profound.
with businesses, schools, and public services shut down. The city's once bustling energy turned into a quiet, eerie calm. Shanghai Railway Station suspended passenger trains on multiple routes starting from Sunday, leaving thousands stranded. As the storm grew closer, more cancellations followed. The operator of Shanghai's airport network ensured that food and essentials were continuously available for stranded passengers. At the same time, the roads leading in and out of the city were closed to prevent any traffic accidents as winds and rain pounded the area. We'll continue to follow the aftermath of Typhoon Bibinka and the efforts to rebuild what's been damaged. If you're in the affected regions, please stay safe and follow local advisories.